I've never seen such a magical phone before. Its commands could control people's thoughts, making them remember their fears. Jack wanted to destroy it, but no matter how he tried, whether by smashing it with a hammer or throwing it into a dark sewer, the phone remained completely intact. Not long ago, a group of rich kids had taken the phone from Jack. They were driving their sports cars on the highway when suddenly, Jack's phone rang. The guy in the leather jacket couldn't resist answering it, but the next moment, he was thrown out of the car. He miraculously escaped injury and slid for 50 meters on the ground. Surviving the ordeal, he Saturday in the middle of the road, lighting up a cigarette to calm his nerves. However, he was struck by a passenger bus and lost his life instantly. Meanwhile, Jack and Jenny had just left the movie theater when they were stopped by two police officers. They were forcibly taken to the police station because Jack's phone had been found at the crime scene. The officers suspected a connection between the leather jacket and guy's car crash and Jack. But before they could answer, the phone on the table began dialing a call, and the recipient turned out to be the officers himself. 